Hey what's up guys how's it going? In this video you are going to learn how to send emails from Node.js. Now there are two ways you can send email. You can implement your own SMTP server but there is a problem with it. You might need to configure a lot of things and also your email might end up in spam. But there is another way you can do this. You can use some kind of email services like I am going to do. I'm going to use Sendinblue as my email service. It is very cheap. If you see the pricing, it is free forever, but you can only send 300 emails per day, which is way more than enough for testing purposes. So just go to sendinblue.com if you want to follow along, then just create an account. And after you have created an account, then just go to your account dashboard. And this is your account dashboard. So just click on this to get the drop down and go to SMTP and API. And then just click on this button to create a new API and just give your API a name. I will give YT and generate. So this is our API key and you need to store it on your environment variables. If you don't know about environment variables, I have made a video about it. You can check that out. I'll put the link on the description. So now let's set up our environment. So I have already created a empty directory. I've called it node mail yt. So let's initialize the package.json with npm init dash y. And now we need to install some package. So npm i. We need to install this package sib for send in blue api v3 sdk then we're going to install dot env so these are the packages we will need so let's install them all right so they are installed so let's open the directory on our text editor and now let's create the dot env file for storing environment variables and our api key name will be api key and let's just copy the value and I will paste it here. Now the common convention for environment variables is all uppercase and instead of space you use underscores. Alright so now let's create a file. I will call it index.js. So now let's import the send in blue SDK. So const sib for send in blue and s should be capital because it's a constructor that we're going to import so require and the package name will be save api version 3 sdk and now let's require and configure dot env to access the environment variables so require dot env then just call the config method and now we need to get the API client. So const client will be send in blue dot API client dot instance. And now we need to get the API key object from the client. So const API key will be client dot authentications. And we need to get the API key object. And now let's set the actual API key in the API key object. So API key dot API key will be process dot env. And then the environment variable name, which is this one. I will copy this and I'll paste it here. Now the API key is set. And now we need to create our transactional email API instance. So const for short, I will call it tran email API. And it will be new sib dot transactionals email API. Now there are two types of email that you can use in send in blue. One is transactional email. Another one is email campaign. Transactional email is used 
mostly in cases like when you need to send a confirmation email or reset password and things like that. An email campaign is used for when you have a newsletter or something like that. And now we need to create a sender object. And this will contain the information about the sender. We need to add email. And the email has to be the email that you have used for registering the account. And in my case, it was that on John at the rate gmail.com. And now we need to create our receivers array. Oops, not object, arrays. And it will be array of objects. And you might have guessed that it will be the user information about the receivers. So let's add one. So let's add the email and I'm going to paste another email. Okay, so I'm going to use this email. Now we need to use this trend email API to send an email. So trend email API dot send transact email. And we need to call it and we need to pass an object here. Let's pass the sender then to property which will be receivers then you need to pass subject it is necessary so subject I'm just gonna paste a subject subscribe to kills coding to become a developer please do so if you haven't already then we need to pass content you can pass text content or HTML content so let's first use text content which will be a string. I'm going to use template string here. So I'm going to paste the text, which is skills coding will teach you how to become a developer. And that's it. Uh, the tr send transact email method is asynchronous. So we need to resolve it. So let's call that dot then method. And I'm just going to pass console.log to print out the response. And I will also add the catch method. And again, I will put console.log to print out the error. All right, so that's it. So let's save the file. So let's open up another terminal and let's just run the index.js file. So node index.js. Uh, we have an error. Let's see. Uh, okay, so the error is we are missing HTML content or text content. I passed text content. Uh, text con. Okay, so I have misspelled it. It's not content, it's content. So let's save the file and run the file again. So node index.js. And you can see we don't have any error. It has printed out an object. We have the message ID. So let's go to that email. And let's just refresh. And actually Gmail has stored the email in promotions tab because this email seems like a promotion. But here is our email. If you don't want your email to end up in promotions or spam, just put some real content there. It will go to the primary tab. All right. So this is the email and here is our text. Now you can pass your name if you want. So just go to the sender object and add a name. And I will just add my name. And now let's run the file again. So let's just go back and refresh. We have another email. And this time it also shows my name. And if you want to see any kind of dynamic content, you can do that. So let's go to the text content. And if you want to add some dynamic content, you can do that. So I want to send a text that Qs Coding will teach you how to become a developer, maybe full stack, front end or back end. Just pass double pair of curly braces. And instead of curly braces, use params then use the dot notation like you do in object and then the param name I will call it role 
then we need to add a params object and you need to give a value to the params that you have used so it will be role and I will pass front end so let's see if it works or not let's run the file again okay we don't have any error let's go back and we have a new email and it says skills coding will teach you how to become a front-end developer now we have only passed simple text but if you want to pass HTML content you can do that so let's pass another property HTML content and again I'm gonna use template string inside the template string I'm gonna pass I'm going to pass an h1 and inside the h1 I'm just gonna pass the text skills coding and then I'm gonna pass an anchor tag and the href will be my website and the text will be visit and actually before I run the file uh, I have made another mistake again it should not be content it should be content so now let's run the file and let's go back to inbox let's refresh and we have a new email and we have this heading Q's coding and a link but you can see that we don't have this text content because HTML content override the text content if you want to send dynamic content like this you can do the same thing here on the HTML content but I'm not gonna bother about that and also send in blue has template system you can use their existing template to send a message but I'm not gonna show you how if you want me to do that please do let me know in the comment section and also if you want me to teach you how to create a newsletter please do let me know in the comment section I would love to create a video about that so that's it for this video as you can see that sending email with send in blue email API it's very very easy so if the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.